everyone now we are going to do the one more lab for the dr and bdr in this one we taken the router if you see r1 r2 r3 r4 we have the four router and we are taking the ip that is 192 168 1.1 1.2 1.3 1.4 so now what we are going to do we are going to assign the ip to all the interface and then after that we are going to enable the ospf by using the interface method we can use interface method or we can use any method no issue but as in the production network we are using the interface method most of the time so better make habit of using the interface method so it will be easy when you go for the real environment you will see all the guys most of the guys are using interface method only in our organization also when we are uh, enabling the ospf when we are configuring the ospf in the new router we are using interface method only so let's see first we will enable the uh, ospf by using interface method after that we are going to check who who is dr which guy become bdr and then we are going to check why this guy become dr what is the reason after that we are going to change the priority depending upon the priority we will verify whatever theory we discuss that that is working perfectly or not we are going to verify so let me take the notepad i will do the lab in the notepad make the habit of doing uh, configuration in the notepad so you will remember the comments whatever we are writing and also in the real scenario sometime we will have issue so what we will do just we will copy and paste from the notepad so it is good practice if you do in the notepad so let me write here what i will do dr and bdr lab okay dr and bdr lab then we will go for r1 configuration so let me write here r1 configuration and here as we already know first we need to write enable config t to go in the global configuration mode and we will we will change the host name i will write host name r1 and after that we will see the interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 and this one we need to assign this ip so i will write interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 I will write IP address and we will write 192.168.1.1.255.255.255.0 and I will write no shut here. So with this one what we done we enable we assign the IP to this interface. We have only one interface so this one is finished. Let me do the OSPF configuration also. Okay. So how we will configure the OSPF we need to write router OSPF1 and then we need to write interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 then ip ospf 1 area 0 because we are using area 0 if you remember first we need to write router ospf 1 okay router ospf and this is the process id process id is a locally significant if you assign here process id 1 here here 2 here 3 here 4 no issue process id is a local significant so you can use whatever you want to use for but for simplicity we are using one so what we will write we will write router ospf and the process id then go under that interface where you want to enable the ospf in which interface you want to enable go under that interface and then you need to write ip ospf and whatever process id you write that same process id should be here then area in which area you want to define this one area 0 area 1 area 100 whatever area you need you can take that one but we are using area 0 okay so with this command we enable the ospf by using the interface method simple this one whatever process id we use same process id we should use this one and which interface you want to enable go under that interface we need to go under this interface under this interface under this interface and un under this interface and enable the ospf same thing we are doing here so with this one we enable the ospf if you want to define the router id you can define also here if you don't want to define no issue automatically router is going to select that one also up to you if you want to define or if you want to keep like this only okay anyhow let me uh, copy the configuration for r1 and then what i will do i will divide this notepad here let me divide this notepad and paste the same configuration and modify as per our requirement if you see this is a r2 in r2 what we have 192 1.2 so let me change first of all this is r2 this is also r2 and here 192 1.2 okay so this ip is good after that i need to enable the ospf in this interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 so i will write router ospf1 interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 then i will write ip ospf1 
area zero. So with this one, we enable the OSPF. So this is also done. Okay. Now I will divide again the notepad and then let me copy the same configuration. I will paste here also same configuration. If you see, this is a router three. So I will make this as a three and the here also three and let's see the IP 192.168.1.3. So I will make this also three. Okay. And this remains same because we need to enable the OSPF in the fast Ethernet zero by zero. So this remains same. Let me copy the same thing and paste here and then I will modify as per the router four requirement. So this is a four. Now if we see 192.168.1.4, so I will make this as a four. Okay. And everything remains same. We need to enable OSPF in the interface fast Ethernet zero by zero. So this is a fast Ethernet zero by zero. Okay, so everything is good. Now what we can do, we can copy and paste. So let me copy this in uh, configuration R1 configuration and let me go here. I will go in the R1. Okay, I will go in the R1 and then I will go in the CLI and then I will uh, check here. I will write no here and then I will paste here. Okay, I will paste here. So I paste already here. <laughs> then what I will do. I will uh, I need to check here sometime we will have the error here so if we are getting any error nothing everything is good working perfectly so what I will do I will save the configuration we use WR to save the configuration let me close the R1 let me copy the configuration for R2 okay I will copy for R2 and then I will go to the R2 and then I will write here no and then I will paste here okay I will paste here let me do here WR and what I will do R1 is finished, R2 is finished then I will go to R3. What I will do for R3 I will write here no. Okay and then I need to copy the R3 configuration and I will paste here R3 configuration. I paste here also. Then I will go to R4 and I will copy and paste the R4 configuration. Let me go to R4 and I will paste this configuration here. Okay, so now what we done just we copy and paste all the configuration. Let me save the configuration. After that we need to check. What we need to check uh, which guy is DR and which guy is D BDR. Okay, so what I will do I can write show IP OSPF neighbor. Okay, still neighborship is not up. That's why we are not getting anything. We need to wait some time. It will take some time. Okay, it will take some time after that they will have that one. So what we can do, we can wait some time. If you don't want to wait in the packet tracer, we can do fast forward. But in real scenario, we need to wait. In the real scenario, we need to wait. Okay, so let's see now. Where is the, okay. Now if you see, they have the, what we can say, state become from loading to full. So now they have the urgency. Let's see now show IP OSPF neighbor. If you see, I have this three neighbor. Okay. And here, if you see this guy is a BDR backup designated router, which guy become R2. If you see, this is a router IP address, all the router IP address is here, but this is a router ID. Okay. This guy is a router ID. This is a router ID. Now let's see which guy become DR, which guy become BDR. If you see, First of all, we told as per the priority. First of all, we told as per the priority, whoever is having the high priority, that guy is going to become as a DR. But now all guys are having same priority. So what we told, we told that if all the guys is having the same priority, then how they are going to differentiate? They are going to check the router ID. They are going to check the router ID. So now if we see here is the router ID 1.2, 1.3, 1.1. 192, 168, 1.2, 192, 168, 1.3, 192, 168, 1.1. This is a router ID. So this one highest will be this one, right? But why this guy not become only this guy become and this guy become? Because if you remember, let me repeat again what I am saying. First we told whoever is having the higher priority that guy is going to become as a DR and BDR. One guy will become DR and less than that one other guy will become as a BDR. But now what we are saying, now we are saying that one all guys is having the same priority. So they are going to compare the router ID. But if you see here, 
this guy that is a 192 168 1.1 this is the router id of the r1 okay this is a ip of r1 let me write here this is a r1 this is r2 this is r3 how i know that one because for r1 i assign the ip 1.1 for r2 i assign the ip 1.2 for r3 i assign the ip 1.3 that's why i know this is a router number and this is a ip of the router so by seeing the ip i know that which router is having which ip and same thing they taken the ip as a router id as we told router id how they are going to select the router id they will check the logical interface loop back we don't have any loop back then they will check the physical interface we have only one physical interface only one physical interface so they are going to select that one only so they take on 1.1 192 to 168 1.1 this is the router id of the r1 this is the router id of the r3 this is the router id of the r2 so now uh, if you see this is a dr dr first r1 become dr and r2 become as a bdr r3 become dr other why like this because if you remember this is our topology just now what we done we have r1 okay and r2 and r3 and r4 and when we copy paste the configuration here here they have the election and this guy become as a dr and this guy become as a bdr and we put little late here and here so this guy came later so that's why they they this guy become as a dr other okay let me repeat what i am saying if you remember we told whenever election is going on if anyone is not available that guy will not consider so these guys are not available why they are not available because we are we first paste the configuration here and second we paste here we did not paste here we paste after that so when these two guy become uh, do the election and become the drbdr after that this guy came up so this r2 r4 even if they have high router id this guy is not going to consider why because they came after election example now if you want to check then clear reset the ospf if we reset the ospf then they will do again election and r4 will become as a dr because he is having the high router id and other guy will become as a uh, dr other okay D backup backup dr so what we are saying one guy if i reset the osp of r4 is having the high router id so he is going to become as a dr and r3 is going to become as a bdr so let's see we will reset the osp of how we will re reset the osp of we need to write clear ip osp of process and then write yes and press enter so i am resetting the r4 then let me go to r3 i will reset here also let me reset everywhere we will write clear ip osp of process I will do yes. Let me reset to the R. Uh, what we can say R three or uh, R two. Clear IP OSPF process, and I will say yes. So this one also reset, and then I will reset here also. I will go here clear IP OSPF process, and then I will write yes. So all will be clear, and now after some time, if you check, this guy will be DR, and this guy will be b d r and this guy will be d r other okay and this guy will be d r other so we need to check now we will see okay we will see that one now i think we can check let me go here and check here still they are uh, doing process let me check now it is ready or not show ip osp of neighbor if you see now changes if you see this is a r4 okay how i know by seeing the ip if you see r1 is having the ip 1.1 this is a r2 is having 1.2 r3 is having 1.3 r4 is having 1.4 okay so if you see here this is a router r4 this is a router r2 this is a router r3 okay this is a r4 r2 r3 so now what we can say this is in the full okay this is in the full and full this one we will see or uh, later now focus on this one dr r4 become dr okay and if you see r3 become as a bdr and this guy r2 become as a dr other why uh, r4 become as a dr because he is having the higher highest router id that's why this guy become as a dr 
after that this guy is having the higher order id that's why this guy become as a bdr example if your manager told that r1 is our r2 r2 is having the good uh, what we can say new router with the good capacity make this guy as a dr okay your manager told you that this router that is r2 router we buy recently it is having good uh, capacity it is having good ram and cpu so try to make this guy as a dr okay so what we can do we can increase the priority we can increase the priority let's see how we can increase what i will do i will go to r2 okay this is a r2 and then i need to go to under that interface because i need to increase the priority so i will go under that interface in the r2 config t interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 uh, after that i will write ip ospf priority and then give the priority whatever you need if you have confusion press the question mark you can give the priority from 0 to 255 all guys is having the priority one so if you give two this guy will win win the election but anyhow i will give 200 okay i give the priority as a 200 and then what i will do i will save the configuration i save the configuration now we need to clear ip osp of process okay i will do this in all the routers so we will have again election and we will see the new dr okay let's see here okay r1 i reset r1 r2 i think r3 also let me reset and then let me reset the r4 also let me reset the r4 also before r4 is a dr right so now he he is going to uh, become not dr bdr let's see so what we done we reset all the router that is we reset ospf now let's see here if i go here and we can type here clear clear already we check so i will write show ip ospf process show ip ospf neighbor let me check the neighbor okay if you see neighbor now let's see here i put 200 as a priority for r2 this is the r2 why i am saying r2 because the ip from by seeing the ip i know this which router is which one uh, for r1 i assign 1.1 for r3 i assign 1.3 for r2 i assign 1.2 if you see here priority for r2 is 200 priority for all the router is 11 okay so now what i done here 192 1.2 this is the router id of the r2 but if you see other guy is having the high router id but first they check the priority so priority of this is 200 so this guy become as a dr if you see this guy become dr and here this is the router id because we are inside the r4 so we cannot check the r4 if you want to check the r4 go to any other router let me go to r1 we will check here example i will write here show ip ospf neighbor show ip ospf neighbor okay if you see here what we are getting here if we see here uh, this is the router 2 router 2 is having the high priority that is a 200 so this guy become as a dr okay after that this guy is having the same priority this guy also having the same priority so they are going to compare the router id this router id is 192.168.1.3 this guy router id is 192.168.1.4 so 1.4 is bigger than the 1.3 so this guy will become as a bdr so now what we can say dr is nothing but uh, dr is a r2 router how they become because the high priority after that they check same priority so they look the router id and r4 is become as a bdr why he become because his router id is high and all other router will become as a dr other okay so this with this one we verify the theory whatever theory we discuss okay so let me start